Yeah, it looks bad, our uh, situation of our king, but it's not so easy for him to get his rooks uh, into one of the act active positions. But it's hard to believe that uh, black is doing, doing worse here. So many ideas. You can go for g5 or incense, you can try something like this. But okay, we, we are having a positional threat here, so he has to come up with something at least. Are we going to h2? h2 looks more logical here. Not sure about this last move. What is this idea even? Okay. And what's it called rook f3? Okay, but let's 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 pretend like nothing uh, is no threats. Okay, rook e3. <laughs> ah. Okay, now now we need a move. Okay, we can go queen c7. Yeah, this isn't it good. Queen c7 does rook f. Yeah, but then we then we just take everything. We can just take on f7 then. Oh, he's rookie. Oh, what am I doing? This is so bad. Ah, well, why is he going for this? This cannot be the end of the world, right? Let's go for a counter attack here. I, I'm sure he, he had some kind of uh, winning con con continuation there. Mm. Okay, this is a good move. And now I can just take on d4 and we will have to struggle. Well, that's still not easy, of course. Rook here, perhaps. Yeah. I wasn't too sure about... Ah, okay. <laughs> Is he going to make a draw? Wow. How does it work on light chess? Can you just... Um, can you just claim draws? Uh, are other draws going here automatically as well? Ooh, that was not good. Or do you have uh, to press the uh, draw? So, uh, as on chess.com. Okay, that's bad. As on chess.com, it goes. I, I thought it was a three three fold repetition there, but it didn't give us a, an automatic draw. But maybe I was I was just wrong about that. So let's see. Let's count. I'm I'm very curious. So here we have it one time, but now there's still a pawn on f2. So this is the first time we have this position. This is the second time. Yeah, and then he made another move. Yeah, and, if, and the difference was that there was still a pawn on f2 in the first time. So that's why we didn't have this position three times as well. So um, it, it, it's probably an auto draw indeed here as well. All right, <laughs> Let, let's try to step it up a little bit. Not really getting our favorite positions there. Ah, okay, now this is this is an, a line I like. Okay. Queen c4, knight c, yeah. This is, so this is the idea of the opening. You go knight c4 here. Ah, he's going for this. Yeah, one of my f um, friends from Germany, Julian Kramer, is playing this line always against me and Blitz. But the, the computer gives like plus three here, but it's it's far from easy. It's, it's crazy, um, crazy idea. Oh <laughs> man, what am I doing today? <gasps> ay ay ay. <laughs> yeah, I should play uh, queen. I should start with queen a four. That's that's the best, and then I should take on e three. Oh, this is so bad. <laughs> so, G3 here. 
And, uh, and here is an interesting possibility for black. So we start with bishop e7 and then we go g5. With the idea of going h5 and then threatening to go um, g4 later on. I think we can go h5 here already, right? I'm not sure entirely. But what's like, yeah, this has to be good. Threatening g4 here. We're having so much counterplay now. We can just cast though, and immediately we have um, we are in control of the of the king side. And why is he allowing us to? Why is he giving us a target like this? I mean, yeah, just go g4 here. <laughs> I don't think he should allow us to open up the the king side so easily. Okay, we can just take on h2 here. I thought. We should always be, always be able to break this down, right? Yeah, we can just go rook g8 here. Perhaps bishop e8 followed by f6. And he's under major pressure. pressure. Now bishop h4 is a move. Rook g4, uh, rook g4 is of course not a move. f5 is a move here. Even f6, which yeah, that makes not so much sense, I would say. <laughs> F5 feels the most logical. Let's do that. I mean, you can go bishop f3 still. And then now it, this is not so easy to break down. But okay, we go bishop e8 anyways. I feel like we should have more than enough compensation. So the question is how we can also bring the queen into the attack. I think that should be our next uh, priority. So let's start with queen d8. Okay, now we have knight b3 already, for instance. So then it's always a logical move to get in. Maybe we should even take there, but I'm not sure. So the question is which piece is more uh, valuable? Yeah, then, then he gets his rook in too fast, so that we are not going to do that. Let's play it like this. Hmm, okay, we always have bishop h4. We will be able to take on h5 eventually, and then our king will be so much safer. <laughs> what is he? He's just wasting moves. Okay, bishop f2. He should be close to collapsing. Okay, we can already take on h5. can take back. Now we're trying to take on h2. So this should be GG. Alright, that's a maiden tree. Okay, this was a nice game. Let's uh, <laughs> let's continue with game games like this. It's three bishop f4. Just play logical moves. I have no idea what I'm doing, but when you play logical moves, then <laughs> nothing can go wrong. So just avoiding the pins, trying to um, achieve e5 at some point. So it's just it's basically a bingo gambit with with an extra pawn on a7, but. That pawn is doing very little for black and it's just um, taking away from its own counterplay. If he, whenever he puts c4 now, then we will get a square. So, also don't mind that at all. Yeah. Do we go knight d4 already? We can also go e5 here, right? Okay, then we have to be careful about him taking there and then taking on d5. Okay, the only issue is that our bishop is uh, not the prettiest piece here on b1. So, let's start with knight d4. And his bishop is still doing a good job um, covering c6. Yeah, maybe I should have put it on c2 in order to avoid this. Could have been a mistake. Okay, now we can take there and go e5. Hmm, <laughs> don't like it too much. 
We also have ideas connected to B3, but then we're losing losing over there. We also don't have rook C1. Hmm. I'm making it difficult for myself here. Okay, let's start let's start with bishop B3 then and then transition to a bit of a more um positional game. Okay, just rook c1. 92? No, 92 is not possible. Hmm. Yeah, his queen is very well placed there, and his knight is, <laughs> is also well placed on a4. But we have a great knight over uh, over on d4. I think we're lacking a, a plan here, so it's not clear what we should do on the on the next moves. And that's, that's something you generally want to avoid. But the question is whether we can play moves like bishop c2, but this is even... This is a surprising decision to me. Okay, what's wrong with bishop c2 now? I mean, he can never take there, of course. We will always have uh, rook a1 as a response. And trap his queen. Yeah, now we have rook b1. So, yeah, this is a, this is a bit too creative, I think. So, it's really trying to get uh, 93 to work. Yeah, let's start with knight b5. Rook b8 can be met by knight c7. I'm hoping this doesn't give too much noise. <laughs> not, not sure if you can hear it as well. Hmm. Okay, is it time for bishop d4? It's probably intending to go rook b8, yeah. Let's just take on g7. Oh, now we can prep. Yeah, can we win a pawn here? I think we can. And then take on c4. Knight d4 is next. Okay, knight d4 will be met by rook takes b8. And if he takes on b8 first, then this rook is no longer protected. So there won't be any tricks, I think, for him. Also threatening stuff like rook takes b8 and then... Uh, oh. <laughs> rook takes b8 and then knight c6. Okay, it's taken here anyways. Okay, we are of course going to take back with a rook. Now it's issue with his rook. So yeah, he can play bishop c6. That's a move. So, okay, we can play queen b4 here. Let's play queen b4. It's a very annoying move for him to meet, I think. Unless he can take here. Okay, I'm hope I was hoping this wasn't working. Hmm. Hey Arios, thanks um uh, thanks for the follow man. I was hoping this wasn't working, but it does seem to work, so I think we just we have to start again with uh, finding an advantage here. Oh we also it will be a huge time trouble. Um, I should have played Queen B2 so much faster. Okay. Oh, I'm giving this. Getting a second chance here. <laughs> He's also aware of the time situation. Oh, no, there's no good. <laughs> Trapping my own rook. Oh, what is this? And we have zero counter play. Okay. <laughs> yeah, GG. Nice game, man. Nice, he played it well in the end. Yeah, I was, I thought we were winning, uh, but it's, it's, it wasn't so easy to, um, to deliver the finishing blow. Alright, let's find a new game.
Yeah, this bishop and a8, it, 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 it seems to have so little prospects, but uh, yeah, just controlling the c6 square was, by doing that, it was do, doing its, jo its job. Hmm. Play against Robin Hood, but he's not not really willing to play, so then we start, uh, start a new game. But, uh, but you can ch challenge me as well, uh, Spari, if you want to. We can play some games. You, you see, I'm, I'm not in the greatest shape today, so so this is your chance. This is definitely your chance. Okay, playing, going for one of the other zero lines uh, now. Just, it's such a beautiful concept, just uh, sacrificing your... Uh... <laughs> I know you're all for that, right? <laughs> okay, but d6 is, 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 is uh, a very uncommon move, so... There should be uh, a way to punish this. Just bishop f4 looks already very logical. Intending to take there and then take on d6. Yes, yeah, going now d5 anyways. So we are basically up, up a tempo compared to normal theory. Although it's not even clear how well placed our bishop is on uh, on f4. Okay, let's go to knight c3 here. And just develop. It's going bishop b4 now. Ooh. So it's so dangerous what he's doing. E5, Queen G4 is an option, but then he just goes G6. Ah, this may be good. It's more because we always also have um his bishop is very loose on B4 as well. Unless he's going to take here immediately, he might run into direct problems. Yeah, he's taking there immediately. Probably a good decision. But still, if 97, then he's like, he just lost his, his dark squares uh, bishop. And he's also forced to go g6 next. So this we have to. We, this has to be good for white, basically. It's going for e8. I feel like queen g4 should still be the move. Ah, but yeah, we're not really directly threatening um, stuff on g7 yet, but maybe bishop h6 was a huge threat there. So yeah, that's why this move is logical. Now we have to be a bit careful about moves like this. Bishop g5 is an idea, idea here. Then I think he's intending. Yeah, what is he even doing here? Maybe ideas like this as well. Okay, probably that was not the case. Bishop e seven is an idea, and then he just goes rook g eight, and we have nothing. It seems. Bishop h three. He's, th he's threatening bishop c eight now, and that's is worrying me. Okay, let's go rook a one uh, and try to figure out. Uh, Okay, we have to go e6 here. <laughs> Not sure about this, but we have to try something. So it's a very risky concept all of a sudden. <laughs> all right. So the idea was queen h4 here. At least that was the intention, threatening knight g6. I was threatening to, to take on e5, so I, I still believe in this for, for white. But I don't think we, we play the most accurate um, on the last moves. But e5 also looks uh, quite suspicious. Okay, we can take here now. 
don't really think there's a way to punish this. Oh, why didn't we take on c8? <laughs> Basically just winning, missing a free, free piece over there. Okay, still threatening rook takes c8 and bishop e7. But now we can put a knight here. <laughs> but then we have knight d6. So I think we're still doing well, but we just missed a big opportunity. Okay, let's do this now. So, yeah, this is already not such an easy technical task after all. Oh. So it's, it will be difficult to pull this off in um, <laughs> like 20 seconds. Unless we're really picking up more material here. Okay, let's try this move. Taking these. Okay, we have rook e7 now. I feel like we're making a lot of progress. Did give him 98, but this shouldn't be the greatest. Of, okay, let's try to get Travis Queen. Okay, I'm so I'm so slow with the mouse. No. Okay, nice. I just prefer the. Okay, at least we're not losing here. <laughs> too slow, too slow. Damn, that, that was unfortunate. Yeah, I, I so I prefer the, the system, but multiple pre moves so much. They really help out in a situation like this. All right. Um, yeah, it's probably if, if you if you want to have some games, then uh, go ahead and invite me. <laughs> Yeah, I should interrupt the three moves, but yeah, that's that's was clearly uh, what's the best. But yeah, the first objective should be to to eliminate all your opponent's uh, material. So indeed, here here we should play moves like like bishop c two, bishop d one, avoid them from playing king h five, and then we may have time for our own pre moves as well. So. I, I'll let's see uh, if your account is still active. I mean, spare. Okay, you're you're showing up online. Wait, I was trying to, there was a correspondence. Let's not do a correspondence game. <laughs> how can you how can you set up the time? Hmm. Okay, I'm trying to challenge you. Should hmm. Why is why is it so hard? Ah Should press live chest there. Okay. <laughs> I'm figuring it out. Nice. I think it should be working now. So good luck, man. Oh, you still have 2300. That's very, very respectable. It's very, very respectable. So we, we could even have done it rated <laughs> then. <laughs> but I, I, I did over. Uh, so the game is not uh, for rating currently. Oh, I hate this line so much. But okay, this is this. That's why I, I go for the ninety-seven move order to avoid knight b five stuff. Since now we since we still have the pawn c seven, the knight is controlling d six, and that means we uh, give ourselves this option against uh, against this line. But of course, yeah, black can play it like uh, white can play it like this as well. But we will achieve um, the strategically exchange of of this terrible bishop. Hmm. 
Okay, I have to knight the five. Is this a tension bishop h3? That could be the case. Okay, let's do it anyways. Try to put a pressure here. I mean, if he goes bishop h3, then we can still um, allow him to take there even. The structure is by no means bad for black. This is, good. this is a very surprising decision. So now we now we got so much control over the over the center, but okay, this 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 will be a bit more annoying to meet now. But we can just move back, I think. And what if why why the chief now? So let's just cast on. Try to put pressure on e5 now. Where's the knight going? Okay, let's first stop with rook b8. Let him decide how he's going to uh, protect all of this. Ah, maybe I should have started with knight g6 instead. Okay, we have moved with like d4 here as well, but that may be a bit unnecessary. So let's go knight g6 instead. Hmm, not sure about this. We have queen c7 here for instance. Okay, I'm curious how it's going to protect e5 now. I think he should have taken on uh, on g6 and then maybe he had options like uh, knight g5, queen f4 and queen h4 and that mating threat would actually have been quite nasty. So... Yeah, now I'm not seeing. <laughs> I'm seeing. Not, I'm not seeing any good move here for for white. <laughs> so he's going for his sacrificial idea. Wow. But yeah, we're of course not forced to take. <laughs> also not going to do that. The knight will will remain hanging unless he's going to g4 now. That's a that's a very uh, creative way of of defending e5. I have to give him that. <laughs> yeah, that was that was that was very nice. Good spot. We can still go h5 here, but that's that's a bit loose. Queen g5 will be in there as well. But okay, why does it have the greatest coordination now either? Okay, let's exchange queens. That's of course going to favor us. I should have started with queen uh, queen e7 because this this can become messy very quickly. Ooh, am I, am I losing already? We can just take on h6. Ooh, this is this is going downhill so fast. Maybe losing already here. Yes, allowing queen g5 was so bad. Okay, two things we can do here. Okay, let's try this. <laughs> Position of sacrifice to the queen. Oh, I want, a, I want a c4 instead. But it's alright too. Ooh, vying those tactics. Yeah, the comeback. The comeback is real. Hmm. Okay, let's just take. Yeah, that was a very close one. Alright, let's. Let's play again. <laughs> Very double edged. So, mainline kings Indian here. Mm. Let's see if you know what to do against 92. 8 6. 
course we're going oh this is an interesting approach not very used to this this idea okay we can go a4 here anyways pretend like nothing is happening on the, on that side of the board maybe i should have played g3 last move in order to avoid knight f4 not sure but okay we are just <laughs> continuing like nothing is happening on uh, on that side and play c c5 go knight c4 next then b5 and try to put pressure on d6 So what is what is the threat here for uh, for black? Perhaps he wants to cut his queen to g5, then <laughs> once again hit us by a with knight moves like knight a3. Okay, we also have de defensive resources now, uh, such as knight e3. And now I thought we could just take on uh, on g4. Wasn't really sure what what would be wrong with that, but it is definitely risky. Definitely a risky decision. Okay, I, I, feel, I feel like it has to be all right. Moves like queen g5 can be met by f3, for instance. Okay, can sacrifice here on g2 as well. Also, g3 should be a perfectly reasonable move here. Hmm. Yeah, interesting stuff. Okay, let's not let's let's play it a little bit safer and start with G three. Now forcing him to take, I think. Unless he's going knight h three, but that it's not sure not clear what that achieves, because then bishop g four will become a real threat. Yeah, so f5 I thought I was just going to take. Now we're of course intending to take on g4 next move. So we're our g3 pawn is just the main vendor of our king, so we're not going to bother bother uh, thinking about g4 and rather try to play it more positionally. But if you get if you do manage to take off g4, then life will improve uh, Big time. Yeah. So I'm curious what the follow up is here. Queen, queen uh, g5 and just take on f5. I mean, it's still, it's still dangerous, that's for sure. But the defensive resources should be... Um, should count for more. Yeah, just take on g5. Maybe I should have started with knight e3 even. Now this is the idea. Then queen g4 next. Also knight e4. Hmm, maybe I'm blundering, blundering stuff here. <laughs> yeah, my last moves were very inaccurate. Once again, I those did. Although this can still be alright. I was giving him knight f4 now, but then I'm, then we have king h1. It seems like we have barely enough resources uh, to defend here. Okay, now knight e4 or queen g4, which one is more logical? Okay, let's go. And this is safest. Just take an f5 now. I'm not going to lose this. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's a very tricky position. So 
So, no, so he's not going for that same um, line defense again. Which did give him a, a decent uh, position last time around. Bishop e3, yeah, here black's supposed to go for the end game. I think we go b6 next, so it's probably just castle first. So Magnus Carlsen really loves uh, these kind of positions for white. And, he's all, and all, often he is... Um, Playing the move h4 at a very <laughs> tricky moment, and he won some amongst some amazing games. So, for instance, uh, the last game um, in the Tata Steel Chess Tournament was it was a great example of how he's playing uh, these positions with white. Mm, okay, how can we proceed here? Can exchange all rooks, maybe not be a bad decision. Let's do that. I mean, we are the one that wants having the outside boss pawn. Or outside boss pawn. We are having the, the pawns the farthest away from the king. I just go b6. Hmm, yeah, this, this, this is a tricky move. Okay, king f8, then there is... Now c6 is probably not an issue. But knight b5 maybe. But then at least we have moves like bishop a6. Okay, let's try this. This seems lo most logical. We may run in uh we may run into a difficult position here. So knight b5 is definitely critical. Bishop a6 then king f1. But okay, I think we have to do it anyways. And probably we, are, we just have to take an e5 on b5 next move. Then try to reroute the knight to uh to a better square. Just try to play fast here. That's uh, that's what matters the most. Yeah, once we can get a knight to c5, it shouldn't be too bad. So, okay, so here's his intention is clearly to push e5. So we kind of want to avoid that. But if you play moves like e6, then bishop c6 can be uh, tough to meet. And f6 is, of course, a, a very ugly move. So really don't want to do that. Knight c5, e5. Kind of want to get a bishop outside of the chain. So e5 is a little bit... Less uh, worrisome. Okay, let's do this. And then there's knight c5. And if he takes, then it's, it's an easy draw. And then <laughs> it will be about the time. Okay, now we can consider taking on d3. Also, e6 is a possibility. Let's go e6 and keep the uh, keep the tension alive. Hmm. Okay, let's go e5. Okay, it's not now it's not doing good anymore. 
world we can we still have our our own ideas as well Ooh, now we I think we're winning perhaps oh I should have played each h4 that was a big miss <laughs> hit him with his own tactics and <laughs> just avoiding the pre moves <laughs> Yeah, very close game. I think we were losing at some point in the, uh, with the two bishops against uh, bishop, uh, bishop and knight. Okay, yeah, this is supposed to be very good for white. Yeah, bishop shay is basically forced. It's the only way yeah, to avoid losing material there. Okay, what should we do here? We can try, what do we take and go knight b5? How's he going to deal with that situation? Okay, let's try it anyways. I want to see um, how, how black can avoid the danger here. Looks, it's very tricky. Yeah, queen a7 looks like the only move. Okay, now it's deliberating between either rook c1 or queen, queen a3. So rook c1 is met by knight c6. And then when we go queen a3, he can just take. So if we wanted to achieve something from this position, I think we should go with uh, queen a3 immediately. Trying to target a weak um, c7 square. So we take we take back with a with a B pawn and we we do um, damage our structure, but since we have a lot of activity, it will it will be difficult for him to um, to meet the knight c7 threat. And I also don't really see another move uh, for black besides taking. Okay, he can go for this, of course. Now we have moved like knight d6. This is this is just terribly dangerous. Knight b6 is a logical move here. Okay, if he takes and just king takes a7, that's that's completely fine for black. So knight d6 has to be the most promising. And then probably just bishop b5 next or something. Try to create some positional uh, ideas. Taking on c6 for instance. And then, uh, okay, here we, I thought we could just take on b7. Okay, <laughs> may not be the end of the world because he will manage to trade, trade on uh, a3 then. Okay, we can take on c6 as well. Okay, let's take on c6. Go for knight d5. Yeah, and this, look, this looked forced. Okay, now we have moves like, moves like rook c1. Still very dangerous. Okay, can we go rook c7 here? I was hoping, uh, hoping for that. Some kind of crazy checkmate. <laughs> not seeing how... I'm not getting it to work. Oh, but it's it's clearly not working. So what am I thinking? Okay, let's let's go over this so this then instead. Okay, group B eight and uh, rook C seven, of course. And F7, 
He's just so much more passive now. You can just castle. Or even play Musa King E2. Maybe may uh not sure what is better. Just comes so much, uh, so much pressure at the moment. Or else catching up on time. Yeah, this this is just so hard to defend. So when it's basically when you have no moves and you have to think about ideas like, like h5 here, for instance. Yeah, maybe I should even have played h3 last move in order to avoid this. Hmm. Yeah, let's let's go like this. Should also play it moves like Rook C1 probably. Okay, let's let's try to push the pawn to a6. Now Rook B1 of course. Hmm. Ooh, damn, what am I doing? Ay, ay, ay. That was so bad. Ooh, I'm on the Rook H4. Okay, we were the one out of time. GG's. GG. Yeah, you deserved one. You deserved one here after, after uh, <laughs> those last ones. I didn't deserve to win this one as well. Okay, so facing this line again. Yeah, 92 is one of the best moves probably. Okay, here. Yeah, it's maybe it may lead just to the same positions. Not even sure if Bishop A6 is best. So we could play A6 there for instance as well. Okay, now we can just castle first. Yeah, a4 is one of the most logical ways uh, of continuing here. So now we have to decide where we go uh, c5 anyways. Because since he did weaken some squares here as well. So let, yeah, let's do this. So if he goes for c3, c3 stuff, then maybe knight c6, a5 can cause some issues. I uh, trying to get his fork, of course. But yeah, he's allowing it anyways, which is probably the right thing to do anyways. Now we have to be careful about sacrifices. But I don't think this, those sacrifices are working for the moment. At least I hope so. <laughs> it could very well be the case that we are losing here already. So just after casting, then we are um, going to play h6, and after h6, it's not easy to break things down anymore. But he, so he is going for it. Yeah, now king g8, queen f4, and it will be difficult to meet to meet um, queen h4. Ah, but it, this cannot work, right? You have knight g6, for instance. It's just very hard to believe. Believe in this. King g6 also doesn't even look terrible. But this is just unnecessarily risky. I think we can even take on b5 there in between as well. <laughs> I think he, I think he got baited. He got baited by this opportunity. 
It's going knight e6 first. But now we have knight c4. Okay, let's go knight c4. Queen d3, then uh, just knight g6 or something, or knight f5 even. Yeah, and here I thought I could just take on d6. There's one common, re there's one uh, very nice uh, defensive resource here, and that's you can also defend h7 uh, from this diagonal. So this this is an idea that's very often missed. So sometimes it it's with your queen trying to uh, get it back via fire c2 or something, but also with a bishop on d3, covering everything. Yeah, we can just go bishop g6 now. Just <laughs> we should be up two pieces here. So this uh, position isn't too interesting anymore. <laughs> All right. It's interesting how often I start with a mouse slip one d3. <laughs> okay, are we, are we going to play this position? Okay, let's start with c4. Now we get some Benoni like uh, structure. Can I also go for a Banco Gambit here with b4? Okay, let's do that. Playing the Banco Gambit with the right pieces here. Although I'm not even sure whether it's a Gambit because taking here might already run into immediate disaster. Yeah, so this is uh, this is log logical alternative here. And now we can play moves like b5. And he has to move back to uh, to b8. Taking on c5 just doesn't look too appealing to me. Okay, we can even start with moves like knight e2 as well and <laughs> Insist um, insist on playing the gambit. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's keep, let's keep the tension for one moment. I mean, the knight should go to d2 anyways. And if he wants to, he can still uh, accept the pawn. But we will surely get. Uh, I think we're just one one move up compared to um, when you have the same position with the columns reversed. So that does that, that by no means uh, means that this uh, is is good for white. But it will surely lead to in, to interesting play. But now we have b five and we can target this pawn as well. Also, b takes c5 wins, feels like. Okay, but his, his, his intention is clearly to move b6 next. Okay, let's go b5 here. And then a... F and then, uh, <laughs> I mean, the bishop is awkwardly placed on uh, on d7 now. Okay, yeah, he, he, he has this move, uh, move available as well. Okay, we can go knight b3 now. Let's do that. It feels like it's almost forced to take. Our position will just be so easy to play here. You can just uh, try to push our uh, a4 pawn down the board. Yeah, this, this is an interesting decision, because it probably forces us to just take on uh, on a6 now, unless we have kind of, can find some kind of other way to create uh, pressure here. But the issue is that we cannot go for a4 followed by a takes b5 because of uh, this, this annoyance. So the alternative is to go b6 here. That does look a bit counterintuitive to allow... Um, 
Let's get bishop c6 in for free. Okay, let's. Okay, okay I should. I should definitely speed up. Let's start with this move. Go knight e5 next. Yeah, it is logical. Hmm. Yeah, we're not finding the greatest uh, exchanges. I feel like we should we should be able to, should have been able to uh, get more out of the the position. Okay, let's let's keep at least the queens on. Ah, uh, we cannot go. Um, okay, let's exchange uh, them anyways. As long as he cannot inter infiltrate, then it should be all right. Okay, queen b5 here. <laughs> Hope it's good. F6. <laughs> Just being a little bit provocative there. Ooh, now we're making tons of progress. Yeah, this, this is clearly winning now. All right, GG. Time, time, yeah. <laughs> but if you're playing bullet, then you you should be the fastest player at the moment. <laughs> okay, is it D takes E here? I think it's D takes E. So this way we avoid a natural knight gf3. I think this is the idea of this system. Yeah, knight e2 is of course a possibility. But that's just far from the most active um, active move here. But yeah, it's of course completely uh, a completely fine way of playing. So let's see where, where should we put our uh, pieces here. Just knight e6, <laughs> and that's also a bit ugly. Which e7 looks logical, but after castling, it's not so. We have to make a decision. I mean, maybe we can go for the move e5 there. Okay, let's do that. Yeah, this looks um, natural. So otherwise, he was perhaps threatening to go to, to play e5 and then go for lots many um, many sweet and sooks. Ah, I could have played queen d3 last move. <laughs> now we have bishop. D okay, what goes up, what comes after bishop a6? It says just c4, but c4 is terribly weakening. Then then just um, they just chronically weakens that square. Yeah. Now we have moves like bishop d3 available. Or also just queen d3. Okay, let's go. Let's go with uh, with this move. This is it. This is the. It feels like the, what the position is asking for. Okay, now knight c5 is coming. B4 will be met by a5. It's already um, it's getting easier for us. Yeah, a5 now. Threatening a b. That's just what always what you like to see. That, yeah, your position is easier to play. And here we will have plenty of possibilities. Okay, we have moves like c5 here, for instance. A4 is there as well, but then there's just queen b2. Even though that's probably good for 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 black, it does release some of the pressure. Yeah, what else is there? Moves like b5, perhaps. Well, let's go c5. It does feel critical. And the bishop is just out of play on g2, and um, 
feels like our li our uh, li our pieces are doing uh, a bit more. We have c4 here, right? Followed by knight knight c5. T slowly trying to increase the pressure. Yeah, knight takes c4 is met by knight c5, uh, winning a piece. So usually you can uh, try to make uh, positional progress by means of tactics. So here we're getting in the move c f c4, uh, fixing the spot on d3 for our bishop. Now, so now we also get a great square on c5. Already threatening knight a4 here, perhaps. <laughs> knight it is just winning a queen, right? <laughs> so move 17, the white tra queen is trapped on, uh, on, on b2, so... Yeah, that was a nice game. <laughs> Showing the showcase the the quality, the strength of the French here. Yeah, that four b six system is um, is a tricky one. All right, yeah. Let me uh, go to the to the toilet and quickly as well. Oh right, and right, yeah. So we we can we can play uh, until ten games. <laughs> that's that's three more. So let me know if uh, if you're back. <laughs> it's a nice match. So I like the games. Yeah. So where where did it go wrong for him here? So here, yeah, the queen is just. Not looking great on a4. The bishop is out of play. I think black is already doing doing well here. Cannot really go knight b3 either because then a e4. Yeah, maybe you should go knight b3, but it <laughs> can we go b5 there for something or just a5? Yeah, then just a5. Knight b3. There's a5 followed by b5. So <laughs> knight b3 is clearly not a move. Uh, and otherwise we have knight c5 just winning this picking of this pawn. So it's already um, difficult to suggest a good move here for for white. And here, <laughs> after bishop d3, queen a4 does look the most uh, logical. But perhaps queen d1 is better. But then black is clearly uh, clearly the one having the advantage. So white is just lagging coronation. The knight on e2 can basically not move anywhere. These squares are covered, and <laughs> all the other spots are taken by its own pieces. So yeah, if 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 you're um, playing the friends and you're struggling to find a good system against the King's Indian attack, then I really uh, advise people to go for Fib four b six. I think it's uh, clearly the the move that's posing the most um, practical difficulties for for um, White. But usually I go for the automatic uh, Bishop e seven here, and then White does achieve what he always wants, and you get get a structure where he's pushing in the center. White's pu putting all of his pieces on the on the king side, and it feels like the the, the white attack against the, the black king is just easier than the counterplay on uh, on the other side of the board. Mm. But but uh, yeah, we can also uh, continue another time, uh, Spari. So. Let's um, oh <laughs> whatever what did it just do? Okay, let's let's find a new uh, 
new opponent then instead. <laughs> Go for a couple more rated games then. So, oh no. <laughs> Why does this always happen? <laughs> yeah, playing too fast the opening is just it's just a sin. It's a sin in online chess. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. So here you can sacrifice a pawn. Ooh, or you can go for moves like this. But this is supposed to be somewhat dubious. But I'm not sure uh, what a way is to, to punish this. Bishop e3, e3 is clearly met by knight g4. So I have to think here a little bit. Perhaps just bishop f4 is a move. Let's try this move instead. So what we want to make sure that we can develop so we can also go for knight d5 stuff. And now we can just go knight b3 here for instance. Looks logical. We will always have pitch b3 back with tempo now. Still knight d5 is in the air. Can go rook c1 here. Always a great square for the rook. <laughs> And now after ninety five, he is forced to take with his bishop. Not sure whether that's an improvement for us, but it does feel like that. So let's go over it. Are we taking back with the pawn? Yeah, nine ninety five. This this is uh, but we have bishop e three. Then queen b five feels forced, or or in the indeed just this move. But I'm, I wouldn't be uh, happier here with uh, with the black pieces. I think white white is, is supposed to be clearly better here. Okay, try to go for uh, bishop b6 ideas. And now I want intended rook c6. Yeah, it was, uh, was a nice match, uh, Spari. We can... Uh, GG's. We can do that another time. <laughs> for sure. Okay. So I'd love to get uh, rook c7 in here. I will achieve knight c4, yeah. How is this? Yeah, he's playing it uh, nicely. <laughs> yeah, speed is, is just uh, is even the most important thing in them. Um, when you play such fast, fast uh, time controls. <laughs> That's what ev everybody's saying. <laughs> Okay, bishop a3 next. a4 is an idea. It's also kind of ugly. Aruk has just won a pawn on e7, but now it's doing nothing anymore. So we have to find a way uh, to, to give it uh, some activity. And rook on b1 is doing an alright job. Just uh, defending b2. Ah, we cannot take back with the queen now. So let's take back with the rook then instead. So we're still covering. Okay, now we are up a pawn. We have moves like bishop f3 now, covering everything. Rook d3 is next. We are we are making progress here. Or uh, yeah, we, I was briefly wondering wondering if we weren't uh, <laughs> weren't up upon after all. Okay, what if we go king, king g2 here? And yes, is king g2 winning a piece? I feel like this should, should be good. So don't be scared. Just try to calculate uh, still. Okay, unless queen f2 
But let me just go here. And we have king h3. Yeah. This this uh, this is winning. So the bishop is so loose. So for instance, he can take there. Oh, that's not even possible. <laughs> we just win an entire rook then. Yeah, this looks like a comfortable win now. Okay, which which position do we run? Okay, let's let's still let's go to h1 instead. So threatening queen g1 now, exchanging everything. So <laughs> yes. <laughs> It's so funny that you can see on, on light yes when your opponent rage quits. So in instead of instead of um, resigning, you can it shows a message that you just closed the window. Hmm, going for the double fianchetto. So, not sure about h3. <laughs> okay, let's see if it goes h h6 and g5. Let's be a bit provocative. Okay, it's going for c5. It's also very logical. Now we will get a Sicilian like position. Okay, I think we should take there anyways. Can take on d5 now, but it's not doing much. So it feels like his approach is, is justified here. Yeah, his, his structure is very, very sound and solid. Okay, I don't think we are worse here. Still somewhat ahead in development. But against the, yeah, the, the double field ghetto uh, ideas, it, it can be it can be hard to come up uh, with, a, with a good plan for white. Okay, this is this is a bit of a weakening move. I'm not sure about that. I mean, I I'm a, I would love him to go g5, then castling will become so much worse. Okay, now we can go knight e5. Okay, still this pawn will be a bit loose. Uh, no, this 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 has to be good, right? Ah, yeah, he can do this still. <laughs> For the moment, e7 is protected. We have moves like c4 now. Okay, we have to play for compensation now anyways. So we we basically have to burn all bridges and try to hope uh, that we can win in the attack. So if he takes, we have to take back, and then we do have a threat. Ah, rook takes, now met by b takes c. But then we have rook e3. Yeah, this is fine. If he takes back like this, then we have rook e3. With tons of tons of threats. Bishop f6, we can just take. Unless we have something stronger, but I don't really think so. Rook one is an option for sure. Or even just take on c4. King f8. Is there a move after king f8? Ah, we can sacrifice on f7 perhaps. Yeah, let's... let's. I love that idea. So take on f7. Let's Let's do it. Uh, we have so much compensation now. His, his, king, his king's position is completely in shambles. Okay, queen d6 now, for instance. Or just rook e1, what's better? Okay, let's start with queen g6. We can always uh, go back anyways. <laughs> queen... We should have a winning uh, threat here. Queen f6 followed by 
Rook e7, we still have knight e1 as a defense. Ah, maybe I'm messing this up. Since he has rook h7. <laughs> you can check and write you one rook h7. <laughs> no. Um, alright, is it time to make a draw? <laughs> Probably right. Queen f6. Okay, how, what's the material even? Yeah. Ah, so we could... <laughs> It showed an option there that I, I could claim the draw instead of that it wasn't automatic. Hmm. Okay, now we are the ones playing this <laughs> this, this position. Okay, let's let's go over the pawn sacrifice. But usually, if black players know what they're doing, then this, this can be a can be a bit sus suspicious. So queen c seven, then just just b three. And against rook c eight, the same thing. Ah, okay, man, let's try this. Yeah, I thought we had knight e4 here. <laughs> What's his intention after knight e4? I don't think p3 is correct. Yeah, he's basically forced to sacrifice the exchange now. And now our uh, our play is justified. I think he should play something like queen d3, and then it's not easy for us to uh, continue the pressure. Yeah, we just retreat. And uh, here the knight should be less powerful than uh, than our rook. Although positions like this are, of course, a very tough technical task. Yeah, here we are, just have rook a8. I'm also not sure about this. Don't think this transition favors him. Unless, yeah, he's, he's going for some kind of attack like this. But we have queen a8. Rook e2 is next. We have f6 to cover everything. F3 seems forced. <laughs> yeah, not really sure what he was thinking. Now we can even start with a move like Queen A2. Okay, I think we can even pick up this pawn as well. Since I spot us another def defensive resource. Yeah, we have we can put our queen back on G7. All right, that was a smooth uh, victory. Let's go rook c8 now. He cannot do uh, anything anymore. Can just go h5. And there are no threats. We can go queen e1, queen e2, rook c4 next. Yeah, now we can start. <laughs> Oh, we've made him one. <laughs> Should do that instead then. <laughs> All right, that was a nice game. But yeah, we basically won it out of the opening there. Out to B3, Knight A4. It was one, one simple tactic was required to get a dominating uh, position. Mm, okay, this opening. <laughs> Not sure what I'm doing here. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, let's go bishop f4. <laughs> oh, uh, did I run into queen f5? Ah, this, no. Oh, this, this, this is so bad. Is there even a way to play on now? 
<laughs> Queen a4 perhaps? No. Let's just bishop d7. Okay, let's let's play it anyways. <laughs> Disaster. Yeah, that's why you shouldn't experiment like this in the opening. Okay, rook d1, perhaps. You have to go for some super fast counterplay. <laughs> yeah, basically down an entire piece without compensation. Uh, we get queen f4 in here. I mean, is it, if, it, if it was our move, we could get queen f4 in, then maybe there's something. But yeah, he will be able to cast it in time, for instance. And he's also playing very fast. Okay, we are getting queen f4. Still rook c8. And there's no reputation. But yeah. I think there are. are um, we're justified to playing on a little here. G45 perhaps. <laughs> ah. Yeah, it's fine to force exchanges, but it's uh, definitely a smart decision. Bishop takes e6 is just met by queen takes e6. And our rook on h um, one is hanging. Otherwise we had knight a7 there. So let's go knight e6 then. How should we have to take? Okay, let's, let's take like this. <laughs> Yeah, I was already afraid of this. There's <laughs> not much we can do about it. Hmm. Yeah, this is the smartest. King of one, there's queen b1 and we are mated immediately. So we have to go rook d2 now. At least we prevent him from casting for the moment. And we have we are we were having a winning thread, taking on f6 and then taking on c6. The same is true now. So he has to move the screen. It's crazy how many chances we you can still generate from a piece down position. Should be absolutely hopeless, of course. Okay, bishop takes e6, b takes e6. Hmm. Okay, now feels like we are running a little bit out of juice. So let's go. G let's go g4, g5. <laughs> I mean, why not? G4, g5, g6 is the idea. Oh, this is a very solid move. King of one, king g2, perhaps. Now h6. Hmm. Why is he allowing all of this? We 
Getting so many gens on time now. Yeah, t time was the only thing that you had to avoid. Okay, it was a bit ugly to, to play on like this, but I mean, he, he, he just had to play, uh, he had to play faster. If he gives a win condition like this, we are really supposed to take it. Hmm. Okay, so basically playing <laughs> the same position as we had earlier, but now down, down the tempo. What if we go bishop f5 here? e4, knight takes e3, e takes f. Looks alright. Now bishop g4 is a move. Hmm. Yeah, that's a good one as well. So perhaps you're forced to play b6. It's not really what I would like to do. Can go queen a5 as well. b6 is just too ugly. Hmm. And now after b4, we can just take and we're getting rid of this weak pawn on uh, c5. Yes, and once the center is opened up, the, the, the fact that he has a C-pawn against our A-pawn, which is normally an advantage, it's probably not such a big advantage anymore. Okay, let's just develop now. Also, bishop e6 was a move, but then he goes f4. Ah, this was his trick. But queen a4? Yeah, this should work. Bishop c5, there's bishop e6, and knight e Okay, this is a nice line. Bishop c5, bishop e6. Knight e4 and the rook takes e4, which protects our queen. Tactics, tactics, tactics. <laughs> now we're treading c4. So he suddenly has to be a bit careful. Nice. <laughs> Ooh, this is a very artificial way of defending your queen. Now b6 feels a lot more um, in spirit for the position. As he's locking down two of his pieces now. Okay, just bishop e6. And yeah, now we can exchange. Also kind of want to keep queens on. Yeah, but there's just no reason to do that. So we can double up here. Ah, here's an interesting idea. f4, threatening f5. And if we take twice... Ah, but for the moment it's still attacking the rook, so it's not really an option. But now we're getting the d file. <laughs> <laughs> not sure what this idea is on the C file. We are of course not going to take now. But instead moves like C4 or just knight E5 even. It's just so much more logical. He, he cannot take twice because then knight E3 forks his, um, his rook and his bishop. Ooh, if, what if we go knight D3 here? Then he probably takes on B6. So just let's just uh, keep it simple and take back. Now we have c4. Oh, this is also not really necessary. Let's go knight d3 instead. Uh, f5 goes e5. Hmm. Yeah, this is a good move. This is a good move. Now it's not so easy for us to um, decide what to do as well. Okay, let's let's go for the most enterprising way of playing this position. <laughs> Be very bad, but we did. There was an idea behind it, <laughs> and now we're activating our bishop. So our it feels like our creativity is paying off. So we're of course not taking back with a. Uh, we could also take with a knight, but then we're placing ourselves in a pin, and I don't really want to do that. 
Mm, okay, let's go do this. Ah. <laughs> hey, me machine. Good to have you back, man. <laughs> Always with the same opening line. <laughs> Ninety-two was a threat. Ay ay ay. Okay, it's fine still. But it's not ideal. It's clearly not ideal. Why is it so difficult? Now I'm the guy who's playing way too slow. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Oh, such an unnecessary loss. Ooh, but it wasn't, it wasn't. Very complicated game. I really like this uh, this G5 and Bishop H takes uh, F4 idea. But yeah, it wasn't it wasn't enough. <laughs> but okay, last uh, last game we were the ones uh, we deserve to lose. So now all things are equal again. Yeah, the Dutch defense is so it's a difficult opening to break down. Hmm, is it time for d5 here? So hard to come up um, with concrete ideas. Okay, let's first start with rookie one. Try to cover this idea as well. Now h6. h6, I'm not so convinced about. This kind of asked to get punished. Okay, let's start with d5. Ah, but now we can all go e4. Hmm. Knight d4. Okay, let's go knight d4. Okay, queen c2, then we may run into a tactic there. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, it's so difficult. Cannot take on c6. Protected enough times. Perhaps a3, b4. Okay, with a lack of a better idea. I, I don't like it one bit. But other moves like queen d2, I wasn't really sure what it achieved either. It's going, it's going for g5. That is surely a, a risky continuation. We may just run into tactics. Okay, knight f5, there's still bishop takes f5. And our bishop is hanging as well. So let's start with queen c2 instead. Uh, now he has rook a2. This can be a tough move to, to face. He's going for this instead. Okay, now still knight f5 is not possible. Hmm. Let's go over this this idea then instead. Yeah, this is a good move. <laughs> Maybe even a very good move. <laughs> ah, I, I thought I was having some options. Okay, what goes? What happens after Queen B three? Yeah, then he's C five stuff. Okay, but at this point, <laughs> we're running out of options. 
So basically forced to play this position, which may not which may not be the end of the world. So when stuff uh, is not get really going your way, then it's just time to adapt. And here, I'm not sure he's giving us a way out. And knight can take back. So this this position is still very tricky, but now I feel like we at once we should have the upper end here. Just e4. Let's go queen d5. Trying to target these weak pawns. So, materially, we are. How oh, is he still has one pawn also for the exchange? That's why this task is still <laughs> quite difficult. Queen e4 now. He's playing it. Now bishop e5. So we're, we're on the same page. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, it feels like he's making more progress, progress than us. Okay, we have g4 here. This is this is the the bill out. Ooh, is he dropping his rook? Wow. Okay, now now we now we should be able to win this. Yeah, this is trivial now. Oh, oh man. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's giving us a second chance. <laughs> I was just hanging my entire queen. Because I thought I could prima multiple moves in a down, in a row. What a game! What a game! <laughs> that could have gone either way. Uh, okay, I'm. So I'm falling for the trick. So this this is always what what black what um they want to do with white. But. I just, I just love to play it to, uh, to turn this into a sacrifice as well. So we are giving up b7. Ah, but he's taking on d5 first. And now we can just play for the initiative here. <laughs> Even though this, this is objectively this is very bad what I'm doing now. But it's just against the what they want to do with white. When they go for the for the 1g4 opening. You want to grab the initiative themselves, but when you turn it into a gamut yourselves, then they are forced to adapt. So he can he can take on a7 as well, and he will, then we will also get our bishop out with tempo. Now perhaps do we have moves like knight e4? If he takes and queen h4. Hmm, not sure, not sure. Maybe he can. Okay, but it looks so fun. If 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 you win this game, this then. It, it, can be a brilliancy. <laughs> so just playing for full compensation. He's he's so far behind the development, and even though we're down two pawns, we should have many um, practical chances here. <laughs> Thanks for the follow, Benjamin Fat Fat Gold. So it's it's clear uh, we are supporting. <laughs> I 
All right, what what do we do here? Knight e5. Okay, knight e5 feels, feels like in the spirit of the position. But then he goes queen f3. Perhaps you should go queen f1 first. Or even knight f6. So what are we? <laughs> we are down in peace here. Okay, knight f6 is threatening to win. And threatening to win is never a bad idea. Okay, let's go knight f6. Now we're threatening knight, queen f1 and knight takes e4 with this pin. Yeah, it's of course protecting and now <laughs> perhaps let's just castle, go for rook d8. But <laughs> I feel like we're overplaying it, but by this time we, we're, we're just committed. Okay, knight takes e4 and just knight takes e4. So let's, let's go back. So raising raising the stakes now. It's like complete coffee house chess. Okay, rook d8. And bishop d2 is probably good. Nice, right, going for this instead. And now we have bishop b4. Perhaps c5. If we can get c5 in. That would be lovely, but he's avoiding it. It's still so difficult for him to play. But yeah, he's playing fast, and that's that's. Um, <laughs> it's also very difficult for us to play to find uh, good moves here. Okay, if you take here now, he actually has a huge threat. So let's let's go king h8. It's a bit of a pity that we also <laughs> are a little bit on the defensive now. Okay, maybe we can strike back at some point. Queen takes g7, for instance. Hmm. That's a made in one threat, so <laughs> surely have to deal with that. Queen knight h5, then there's just queen h4. But that, okay, let's let's do this. And after queen h4, we have c takes d. Opening up some files again. Ah, it's just queen g5 as well. Okay, that's sad. Sad news. <laughs> By this point, we are clearly lost, of course. Ooh. <laughs> it's playing automatically uh, playing it like this. Okay. Now this works. Yeah, still everything under control. <laughs> but yeah. Even if we lose, it was a fun game. No, okay, this this is the end of our hopes. Okay, let's give it up. GG, GG, man. <laughs> but that was a fun game for sure, yeah. Inf investing the piece there in the opening would be a little bit too much. Okay, let's go for one main line here. I, I, I was already expecting that him to be a, a knight a6 player. <laughs> hey, Xa, Max. The real Max Warmadon back in the chat. Welcome, man. Hashtag famous, he said. Yeah, not, not as famous as you, that's for sure. Mm. Ah, he, so he was already to go t5. Okay, <laughs> should have played bishop f2 or something last move. And not fall for this. Although, okay. With something like this, we can probably still create some threats. Fe here. Fe or knight e. 
I think you can just take. Let's go FE. Could also play something like King H1, perhaps. Or even Knight D5. Hmm, see for second writing here. That's not. <laughs> Knight b5, what can we do here? We have to create some threats. Oh, knight b5 is clearly not an option. The bishop c4 is. This feels like the most logical continuation. Trying to put pressure on f7. I mean, he cannot really go bishop e6 because after, if he does that, then we will have plenty of compensations. Yeah, so this is one of the main options, but I feel like here should have enough compensation as well and we can also bail out when a move like bishop takes a6 that's of course not what i want to do okay let's do this if you manage to win f7 then it should be all right and if he goes f5 then we're just uh, catching in on b7 we can even start with a move like bishop a6 if you want to Whoa, what is this? This that feels like a move into the wrong direction for him. <laughs> yeah, we just have rook c7 now. <laughs> now everything is under attack. Knight a6 is just met by rook b7 though, so we are by, we are by no means um, forced to allow the repetition. Okay, what are we going to take first? Okay, let's. Let's take like this, threatening uh, a massive check there. Okay, we can go, okay, let's do this anyway. So we are, yeah, it's even, he doesn't even have anything. Okay. Yeah, that was, <laughs> even there, though we allowed d5, a couple, of, a couple moves made later, he was already in trouble. Okay, what is this? Feels like a very slow move. Okay, let's let's just develop and see um, what he's up to. Just bishop e4 now. Feels like a fair, fairly harmless uh, setup for white this. Just managed to uh, make all our uh, normal moves. He's of course ne never threatening to go c5. Yeah, he can play this. Hey, see you, Maybe he can go c5 now. So. C takes d. C5 is now not, not really an option anymore. Okay, let's go A5 then instead. Just wait, waiting for him for the moment to, uh, that he plays C5. Okay. Probably just go A4 here. It's of course still uh, an equal position. <clears throat> I'm looking at taking and c5 stuff. But then there's just d5 and that's nothing. So I have to find another idea. Perhaps knight fd7. Let's do, let's do this. <laughs> and he's also uh, keeping the tension. Yeah, perhaps I should just play the other knight to uh, to d7 instead. So the only thing that we have going for us is that this knight on uh, a3 is terribly out of play. Doesn't have. Um, 
great option there. Okay, now you can take. What is this? You can even take a G. What if you take a G four here? Yeah, I just uh, switched to uh, to light chest. A couple of friends were uh, were advising that, so just going to give this a shot. Maybe I should have taken on G four last. No, but it's, there was just no reason to do that. Hey Neumatic, <laughs> I'm doing well. Are, are you doing uh, well too? Good to hear all the uh, all the regulars are back here. <laughs> it's very nice of you. Queens. Hmm. Okay, we have to find an idea now. Okay, let's take her anyways and go e5. By this point, we are we are committed. Let's go queen e7. Ooh, I could have considered knight f6 last move. Ooh, this is very strange. I think we can even take at this point. Go rook e8. Our structure is just, be just better. Hmm. Not sure about my last move, but Okay, let's go rookie eight. Still much easier for player to play for us this position. But I'm not sure it's such an advance advance can be enough for the win. Eight's five. Okay, playing it a little bit creatively now, but now, yeah, he's under tons of pressure now. Ooh, this feels like such a risky enterprise that he's doing now. Look, e4. Just king f7 or something. <laughs> he's so close to getting mated. Okay, we can do this as, as well. That is rook g4, rook g2 winning on the spot. I think we are winning this game as well. Knight g3, e h2 is next. There's nothing that he can do to stop it. Wow. Yeah, we three. I think our technique was. Nice in this game. Alrighty. Yeah, so he was just struggling to, to uh, create pressure, and once we transitioned into the end game, we are controlling the we are the ones controlling the e file, and because this structure is just so weak, we we are also the ones who control um, the palm breaks. And this d4 pawn is chronically weak, so his knight is basically tied tied down to defending that. And we can just play around and yeah, after you get a 5 in here, it's already, there are just no good moves here for black. If he pushes this pawn, then he's giving up all the control. And after what he did, he, this, this is maybe an interesting way to still create some complications, but he's basically losing this pawn. And he will also lose h4 afterwards, so this is just a winning position. So, yeah, let's do a couple more. It's going for this move order. How, uh, not sure how we are supposed to punish this. Okay, we can go bishop f3 here. Now he's forced to go d5, but this, this is still, um, very decent setup for um for, for black. <laughs> K 
Okay, we are, we are having some ideas here. Knight b5, perhaps rook c1. Knight b5, yeah. It's not b5. <laughs> is it already strong? What is it doing after knight b5? Knight a7, then knight rook g8, then it's just knight a7. Okay. <laughs> I'm not seeing it. So let him uh, let him come up with a solution here. He can solve his problems. Yeah, but I thought he's he's just collapsing now. Knight e6 is next. Rook knight x8 a8 is a winning threat. G5 is just met by uh, knight x e6 and it's crushing. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> smooth victory there. Very smooth victory. <clears throat> so ah yeah this this the, the I, I think this is the worst system out of all systems this is the worst system against uh, the winner <laughs> for Chia, so really you, you you just love to see this move as after this it's so difficult to play um, for white and that is because c5 is a bit of a counterintuitive move for, for black, since a move like knight takes c4 looks so much more logical, just uh, attacking this knight and also winning a pawn. But after c5, you put, uh, you're creating way more uh, threats because you're threatening to take on d4, winning an entire piece. So he's playing e5 here. And I'm not sure what the re reputation of this move is, if there is one even. <laughs> But moves like c takes d4 definitely come to mind. Also knight, you know, knight g4 he just takes here. We can still go knight e4 anyways now. Then it does go queen takes h7. I don't really see a direct good option for us. Maybe e5 is still the way to go for for white. But I, <laughs> I forgot that. Okay, let's let's take on d4. Looks most logical. Hmm. Can take on c3, take some b4. So queen a5 is one of the usual ideas. Let's do this. Yeah, this is probably a good reply. Okay, but we can, yeah. But we have another idea up our sleeve here, and that's the move queen a2. <laughs> Trapping his rook, yeah. I think we should be winning now. So, yeah, <laughs> just don't, don't play four queen g4 against the winner. <laughs> it, can it can lead to such a quick disaster. You can play it a couple of moves later, but just not uh, not a move four. Okay, how, how can we finish this? Just take on c2. And let's take on c2, threatening this as well. Now rook g6 is coming next. So materially... It's um, probably already a winning position. Okay, let's start with queen b1. And let's go after um, f6. Ah, yeah, this is still a nice move. Okay, do we now? Let's not let's not play the the most boring way. Also, <laughs> we have to be a bit careful about the time. Okay, let's go bishop b five. Hmm. Okay, my technique is of course very poor <laughs> here. 
very, very poor. Wow. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> allowing me to one, I don't mind that. <laughs> yeah. So playing guard rated 2500 here. With a very direct approach in the opening. Hmm. So what to do against this? C3, yeah, this <laughs> doesn't do critical at all, but yeah. Didn't really see a great alternative. Yeah, he's, he's playing great move order. Okay, let's go with B3. So, <laughs> already we have no point, no defenders whatsoever. Okay, maybe you should take with a knight. Okay, let's take with a knight. So we can get mm, now B5 in then A6. Yeah, <laughs> we shouldn't get our own rook trapped. So let's start with Bishop F4 then. Yeah, but now, of course, you can avoid stuff. May have ideas like knight a4 here. It's of course a completely balanced position, I think. Let's play this move. So <laughs> I would love to uh, get our bishop to uh, a6. But we have to be careful that if we, if we play e3 then we might trap our own bishop so maybe been a good idea just to play a bishop move first okay but now we can take and play e3 threatening bishop a6 here it's something that i think he has to avoid but he, okay he can't he can exchange all rooks yeah this is a very sensible decision Okay, let's start with bishop b5. But I feel like this position has to be very... Uh, oh, I want to go uh, king d3. G h4 is just met by f4. Let's play that. You have to fix the pawns on the right color. Okay, I can play this move as well. Ooh, now h5 is getting weak. Ah, this is a nice move. Very nice move. A very, very nice move. <laughs> okay, let's go knight c3. Ooh, what is this? This, this doesn't look good to me at all. Now we should have no problems whatsoever. Get out over a draw. I should, yeah. <laughs> I was really playing on this. <laughs> yeah, not the greatest game, but um, <laughs> at least we didn't lose. Okay, let's take here. It's going for 95. Bit of a surprise. How is it supposed to tackle this? C5 is an option. Hmm. Let's go C5. Not, not sure whether this is the best at all. Perhaps you should just go C6 and play it very slowly. 
But this is also a very surprising decision. Now we we have to be uh, completely fine. So if you want to play it really active, you go uh, with an old ninety six now. But let's do it. So we're basically damaging damaging our structure, but we're getting rid of all of our weaknesses. And here we have to move um, Bishop H three. We're not down any material. So we can just go rook c8 here. And now we can start targeting this pawn. So, do we start with... Okay, I think this is most logical. Knight e5. Perhaps knight b4 next. Now d4 is already under attack. It's not even clear how he's, go he's going to defend everything. Because if he goes bishop e3, for instance, and we go knight b4, his rook has to move and we take on d4 next move anyways. So it's going d5. But yeah, now it's clear that we are having a huge advantage. Okay, we can take on c3 now. Is there a better move? I'm not seeing it, so let's play there. <laughs> let's take it then immediately. There are two types of, of advice. You can, when you see a good move, play it, or when you see a good move, look for a better one. <laughs> I'm not sure what is the most, uh, which advice of those two is the best. Okay, let's take here. And go e5, f5 next. Try to push our center. So when you have an extra pawn, you are really supposed to use it, of course. Hmm. Let's go rook fd8. A knight is such a monster. And still I'm considering to take uh, on c3. Okay, this way he's avoiding it. Now we can go after a5. And rook was on e3 is not doing anything, but I have to be careful that he can liberate himself by means of... Um, Playing the move e3. Well, what is this? We have rook c6. <laughs> this is now he's completely collapsing because rook a6 will, will simply trap his bishop. So this is a resignable uh, position for white. Okay, let's check. <laughs> let's check him first. The position is so bad that we can even consider stuff like this. Yeah, yeah, let, let's do it, because it's a mating threat. If he goes rook e1 now, we have rook h2 mate. <laughs> no. Complete domination here. I still believe. Completely run out of moves. Ah, wait. It is a still, mate. So. <laughs> we can avoid it, of course. And you have made nice. Okay, let's do let's do one more. One more, and then we can uh, continue tomorrow afterwards. So final game of the day. Oh, why am I playing this move order? Hmm. This is also somewhat strange. Okay, let's go bishop g five. Hmm. Interesting, interesting way of uh, playing. Okay, let's go knight d5 now. Trying to go for the immediate uh, kill here. Even though it's of course not available, we have moves like e4 now. 
He has to start being very careful. So he's decided to give up 